Yeah, you know, it's a lot like trials. Um, you know, you have the Clark Smiths, the Townley Hosses, um, and then you have guys from different countries. You have Flynn, um, you have Felix Arbach. Um, you know, you have such a great amount of like swimmers and individuals. Um, you know, the ready room, the ready room was awesome. Um, a little less tense than trials. Um, all the guys were talking. Um, you know, I really enjoyed the 500. Um, you know, not just the race, but you know, the individuals in that race, the great guys. Um, everyone had great swims. Um, Clark taking out the record, that was awesome. Um, being next to Tally was cool. Um, so yeah, it was an awesome experience. What I learned from ba from baseball is the best thing you can do is experiment. Um, you know, always experiment with you know, uh, change your stance. Um, you know, choke up on the bat. Like like it'd be simple stuff. But you know, I've been working a lot on my underwaters with uh, with Coach Jeff. Um, and in in high school, I I did a couple underwaters at the end of um, 50s and the 500. Kind of just like. Not, not joking around, but kind of just like saving my arms. Um, and I did it in Texas. I did it in prelims. And I, I came home in a 23.5 or 23.6, and I was like, hmm, you know, I could actually make this work. Um, and um, I went, I, after that race in Texas, I told Coach Jeff, you know what? Um, I want to implement this in my race or try to implement it in my race and um, go, to, go to school on it and see how much I can benefit from it. Um, I, I don't have the best underwaters to be honest with you. Um, I'm not a Caleb Dressel underwater, I'm not a Ryan Hoffer underwater, um, but you know I've been putting a lot of work into it. Um, I've been doing um, sets where I'm sprinting for hundreds or hundred and fifties and I worked, the, I worked the last two walls. First week of college, um, I'm riding down a, I'm riding down a hill on my bike. <laughs> um, <laughs> it sounds so fake. <laughs> um, so it was like 10:30 at night. Just got done studying um, for chemistry. Um, coming back from a place called Late Night, which is like dinner after dinner, because I was studying through dinner. Um, I was studying with Katie Draybot from the women's team. Um, coming down this hill, and a raccoon pops out of the bushes. <laughs> And um, I jerked the wheel too hard, locked the front tire, and went over the handlebars. Um, didn't hit the raccoon though. Um, <laughs> but um, you know, I was very lucky to um, not get more injured than I did. Um, you know, I honestly could have been paralyzed. I wasn't wearing a helmet. Um, definitely changed that right after. Um, you know, I, I'm so. Th so thankful that um, something didn't happen because it, it could have been horrible. Um, so what happened was I ended up um, partially tearing a ligament in my wrist um, between my scaphoid and my lunate um, and I got put in the cast for a month um, and I got it off Hall Halloween and then I got put in a splint for three weeks or so and I got it off the week before um, our Texas meet, the Texas invite. Mm -hmm. So up until that point, um, I was training with the cast. Um, I trained a month with the cast. Um, it it was difficult, honestly, um, seeing all these guys doing really well and practicing, practicing, and doing the best I can. Um, but you know, I I put in as much effort as I as I could. And the day after um, I got my cast off, I did it in practice 200 and went 140. So. Um, you know, God will give you some obstacles, but um, sometimes you have to jump over them or swim around them, but, um, you know, I really had to persevere through that.